Hi, welcome to our series of video to show you how you can use the Interbrokers Trader Workstation Desktop Platform. So in this video, I will show you how you can set up the Trader Workstation Platform onto your PC. So in short, I'll call TWS for the Trader Workstation. So first thing you need to do is to go to their website, www.interactivebrokers.com.sg and then you'll be able to see in this web page and go to login. At login, you click on download Trader Workstation and it will bring you to the download page for the software. So scroll down until you see TWS software. So there are three types. So we'll choose the latest version. And then you click on download. So once the download has been completed, then you can proceed to install the software onto your PC. So as I've already downloaded and installed the software, I'll launch my software version. Okay, so this is how the login interface for Trader Workstation looks like. So for today, I'll be using the paper trading and here I'll key in my username and also password. Okay, so this is how the paper trading platform actually looks like. So at first, when you have a first glance at this software, it looks a bit scary because there's too many things. Okay, so here, as you can see, there's a lot of panels around and it also looks a bit dark. So if you wanted to see a much lighter one, how you can change it is to you go to file, click on application settings, global configuration. So once you click onto it, go to display, open it up, and then click on style. So you can see here, the application, you can change it whether it's dark or light. So currently it's in dark mode. So when I click on light and click on apply, the software will need to restart in order for it to take effect. So right now I'll click on restart. Okay, so now the software has already restarted and reloaded all of the interface and you can see that even though some of the layers are still black, but at least we can see that the title of the panels are right now in light colors. So this is how you can change the interface uh, settings from file, global configuration. And if you find that the wordings are a bit too small for you, you can go to here, the font size, and then click onto it. And then you can adjust it whether it's larger or you can just remain it as smaller. It depends on how you like the wording size to be. In our next video, I'll show more and talk more about what are each of these panels function and how you can use them. And as you can see here, this one is known as the mosaic layout by the TWS platform. And they have another layout called as classic version. So how do you access to the classic is here, classic TWS. So you click onto it, you'll be able to see it's kind of like a very Excel look alike. But for today, we will not be using the classic version. So we'll be using the mosaic version. Okay, I'll end the video for today on how you can do the setup. And in our next video, I'll show more about each of the functions of different panels. So thank you.